Welcome to TX Multiverse. I'm your host, Tyrus, and welcome to the second episode of this very, very, very special series of haul videos. Now, uh, if you haven't checked out haul number one, you most definitely need to check it out, folks. Each and every one of these hauls build upon one another. Every one of these hauls also have a number of special items that really hit home to me. So you definitely don't want to miss out on any of these hauls, folks. So definitely check out haul one. And this is my amazing Amazon haul. There's two items that are from Target that we'll uh, get to as well. But man, I'm really excited about these items that I have on the table. So I'm not going to babble too long. I'm going to dive into them, folks. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Let's get to it. All right, so first up, we're going to start off with McFarlane Toys. You know, McFarlane Toys is my jam. So we're going to start off with the new page puncher figures uh, that I'm really excited for. Now, as you can see, I have three of four. You know, I'm missing the Batman figure. The Batman is coming, but I have most of the wave here. And I'm really, again, I'm really excited for this. These figures uh, look really awesome, man, even just in the display packaging. So uh, we're going to take a look at Superman. So we got Superman here. All right. So uh, he looks pretty good. And then, of course, on the back, you see an image of the figure as well as the comic that it comes with. So, uh, again, man, I'm looking forward to uh, diving into these figures. Uh, stay tuned for the review on these page purchases because that is coming up soon. Up next, we have Black Adam. Now, this is the one I feel everybody wanted. This is the Black Adam that I feel every collector has wanted from this line. And, man, I don't think they disappointed at all. Uh, he looks like he is the real deal, man. He comes with the, you know, um, electrical effects. You know, the designs for these page punches look a little different than the DC Multiverse uh, brand. I mean, it looks like they're, they've even upped their game even more so with these page punches. And then here on the back, we see an image yet again of our figure and the exclusive comic. And I'm really wondering, like, what Wave 2 is going to look like because Wave 1 was pretty good, man. Uh, I mean, judging from these figures, man. And I look forward to seeing exactly like what Wave 2 is going to be like and how they're going to continue to build upon this brand, man. Because this page puncher line looks to be pretty solid. So uh, really excited about Black Adam. And this is this is the one that was like the big surprise of the group for me. It, it's Constantine. You know, I've, I've even said in previous videos that we definitely need a Constantine. I want to build that Justice League Dark Team. And, and here we have it. So we got Constantine now. We can add Constantine to Swamp Thing. We have Etrigan. Now we need Dead Man. We need Satana. You know, uh, we're getting there. We got Dr. Fate already as well. So, uh, you know, we're, we're building that Justice League Dark team, man. And this Constantine has to be just one of the best uh, from this wave. I mean, if not the best, you know, this guy, <laughs> oh my gosh. I really look forward to reviewing all of these figures and, you know, getting them out of the package. But man, uh, this Constantine, he looks pretty sharp, man. Wow. And up next, I got some Gotham Knights action coming at you in the form of Nightwing and the Red Hood. Uh, here's Nightwing here. Looks pretty awesome. I almost passed on this line. I mean, when I first saw it, I was like, I was like, ah, oh, I kind of passed. I wasn't really feeling the figures. I have the Tim Drake Robin. And I like that one. And I saw these in a store when I was out of town, um, when, I, when I was in St. Augustine. And I passed on them. And I was like, well, I don't know. And then I went on Amazon and they were like half off. I think they were like maybe like $10, $11 or something like that. And I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll go in on them now. <laughs> so I got a deal on these, these figures. So I was like, man, yeah, man, these are still awesome figures. I just wasn't completely sold, but I'm glad I got them because now... I'm sold. I mean, this Nightwing looks pretty awesome, you know. Um, definitely like this head scope here, you know, the weapons. See, like he has like tennis shoes, which is interesting. Uh, but yeah, man, this Gotham Knights uh, line is pretty pretty solid. I mean, and uh, a Batgirl looks really good uh, and everything. I'm going to be reviewing Batgirl. Uh, I do have her. So uh, I have the whole wave, which is going to be exciting to, to take a look at together. Um, so that's going to be pretty cool. And then, of course, we have the Chunky. I call him the Chunky Red Hood, you know. So, I got Chunky Red Hood here. Uh, Red Hood looks pretty awesome. I actually like this one better than any of the Red Hoods that I have. I mean, I like this more bigger, bulkier Red Hood. 
course, he doesn't come with any weapons, but I'll take care of that. But uh, overall, man, this guy looks pretty solid as well. And then on the back, we have this awesome image of the Red Hood. Yeah, solid line, man. I really like this guy. And I'm looking forward to the video game. You know, the video game, video game comes out, I think, in September, October. So I look forward to seeing how good that game is. And if Batman really is dead, which I don't think he is, <laughs> Batman never dies. All right, I got more McFarlane Toys action coming at you in the form of the Spawn Ninja, Ninja Spawn, whichever way it is. It's just a Ninja Spawn. This is yet another one of those figures that you can really put with anything within your six, seven, eight inch, you know, figure collection. I mean, I'm going to put this against my Batman <laughs> within my McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse collection. I mean, this I feel it really works. Or um, I have the uh, Ghost Maker figure. I feel like this will be a good enemy to pit against the Ghost Maker. So uh, the the sky is the limit with something like this, man. This game, this thing looks absolutely magnificent. Look at that, folks. The detail. He comes with a variety of weapons. Y'all know if you've been following this channel, I love the accessories. Again, the detail, man, with the McFarlane brand figures is just like off the charts. Look at that there, man. So, uh, yeah, the side here looks pretty awesome. <laughs> wow, man. Yeah, look at that artwork, man. Woo! Man, look at that. Yeah. I've seen some um, figure photography shots of this Spawn Ninja, and I tell you, man, it uh, looks like you can put this guy in all types of poses. You know what? Let's do another unboxing. Let's do it, all right? Let's, let's get this guy out of the box. So... Let's get a closer look at Mr. Ninja Spawn here. All right, so got him out of the package, but let's work on these weapons. Shouldn't take too long. Let's gonna pop them out really easy. Got his katana blades here. And that's that. All right, so I got this guy out of the package, and man, I tell you, this Ninja Spawn looks absolutely impressive. Well, the detail on this thing is absolutely just off the charts. Wow, man. Come on. Come on, man. I don't think I did this sheath thing correctly. Let's see. Okay. This thing looks awesome, dude. This ninja spawn is just like, wow. I can see people even like army building these things possibly, you know, maybe getting, you know, maybe three total uh, to put in your collection, but yeah, this, this is awesome, so, you know, oh man, look at that, man, look at the little scarf here, man, you know, I'm pretty sure, like, again, man, the, the articulation, oh, look, you can put this guy, the things that you can put this guy in articulation-wise, you know, really impressive, man, really impressed with this guy here, oh, look at that, yeah yeah man okay yeah all right all right let's get on to the next and up next here we have the she spawn yet another phenomenal figure from the mcfarland toy line i look forward to reviewing this figure because it just looks so impressive even in box uh she comes with a variety of accessories uh even through the, the display packaging the detail for these figures are just absolutely off the charts she comes with, again a variety of weapons she has a little um, knife sword, uh, the chain. She has actually chains wrapped around her weapon that you can attach to her as well. Uh, swappable hand, uh, of course, the display stand. And then here on the side, look at this artwork on the side here, man. Yeah, she, she ain't nothing to play with. <laughs> she ain't nothing to play with. And then here on the back, look at this image of her coming at you with her weapons, man. Has to be, hands down, one of the best spawn figures uh, to date for me. I like this one, the Ninja Spawn, and of course, OG Spawn is always going to be there. All right, up next, we're diving into the world of the Masters of the Universe, uh, the Masterverse line, which has been absolutely phenomenal. Uh, it's hands down one of the best brands out there. It's right up there with my Farland Toys, the articulation, the attention to detail, uh, the scale that these figures have is just absolutely impressive so here we have king grayskull this was one of the item other items that i got from target but man i have been looking forward to this figure here oh look at that king grayskull in full form man uh now that netflix series i'm gonna be politically correct by being by just saying 
it that He Man Revel Masters of the Revelation or whatever they want to call it, uh, Masterverse Revelations. Definitely not my cup of tea. I'm just gonna leave it at that. <laughs> I I can't believe that's it, it's even getting a season two, y'all. I mean, it's getting a season two. Who knows how that turns out? But that doesn't take away my love for these action figures from Masterverse, man. Uh, this guy looks awesome, and it's one of my most anticipated figures from the Masterverse line. Uh, is this King Grayskull? You know, man, he looks excellent. So uh, I'm definitely gonna be reviewing this guy here on the side. We got. Oh, look at that artwork, man. That That's the thing, man, with these Masterverse figures. You get beautiful artwork with these, uh, the box art, man. Look at that right there. And on the back, we have him separating the two power swords. Dude, that looks awesome. Man, 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 that looks so awesome. The things that we're getting now, man, in today's market is just absolutely just unbelievable. So uh got King Grayskull here. And then up next, we have Trap Jaw. Yet another one of my most anticipated figures, man. This is the ultimate Trap Jaw here, man. And, and it's just like you get him in his classic form here. He has an articulated jaw. Comes with a variety of different interchangeable weapons. You know, uh, now this role from that Netflix series, that um, Motherboard story arc, did not care for it at all. So I will not be utilizing the robe with this figure. Uh, but man, overall, man, this figure, this is absolutely amazing. Uh, really, really happy I got this trap jaw figure, man. I mean, again, I needed a trap jaw for my Masterverse line, and I got one. And uh, they, it seems like they did an excellent job with this trap jaw figure. We have here, again, um, promo the images of trap jaw on the back. I mean, the, the artist, you know, um, I'm going to, I got, I, I keep forgetting this name, man, when I look at these Masterverse figures, but. He does such an excellent job with this artwork. Looks just beautiful. And then on the, here on the side, more artwork here with Trav Jaw. So, yeah, man, this is yet another one of those, you know, bucket list figures that I have. You know, I missed out on that, the Masterverse Classics line, you know, but this is way better than the Classics line, man. I mean, this this Masterverse line takes these figures to a whole nother level. So, Really happy with Trap Jaw. And then uh, last but not least within this Masterverse haul here I have, I have uh, Classic Teela. So, uh, <laughs> oh boy, um, passed on that uh, Shaved Head Teela. You know, really, I absolutely did not care for that character at all. Uh, but I'm really happy that I have, you know, more of a classic looking Teela. Uh, again, um, despite my thoughts, my feelings towards that Netflix series, these are some awesome figures, man. I mean, you you really get good figures, um, great figures within this Masterverse line. I mean, they had so much on display at Comic Con. I mean, the Masters of the Universe, you know, uh, it's it's really you know full steam ahead with all their figures from the Origin line to the Masterverse. You know, a lot of exciting things. You know, it's coming our way from the Master Universe line, folks. So stay tuned for that. But you know, happy I got this uh, Teela. You know, I'm really happy that I got me a more of a classic looking Teela. Here we have uh, her image from the side, and it uh, looks really good. And then on the back, we have her with her tiara off and just her hair flowing through the air. Maybe she's mad at everybody because uh, they didn't tell her that Alan is He Man or yeah, for just mad about anything. Who knows? But uh, <laughs> yeah, man, I, that that series is just not my cup of tea, y'all. And I, I again, I cannot believe we're getting a season two. Hopefully, it's good. You know, Kevin Smith says that He Man is gonna be in all the episodes, so we can we we know we can take that with a grain of salt. And if he is in all the episodes, folks, that means there's a catch to it. So um, stay tuned for that, folks. That's all I gotta say. But yeah, happy with this tale either way. Phenomenal brand, phenomenal line. And uh, we're going to get on to the next. All right, folks, up next, I have some Marvel Legend coming at you in the form of what I call Classic Havoc. This is one of the newest releases from the Marvel Legends Build-A-Figure Wave. And one of the most impressive things for me with this Havoc figure outside of his, just his overall look and aesthetic is the attachments that he comes with to, to mimic his, his power uh, set here. So see this little blue uh, translucent you know, uh, items that to mimic his power. Very impressed with that. And then, uh, again, man, this figure just <laughs> looks pretty cool, man. A simple design. But, yeah, again, it's, it's that classic Havoc look to him. And here you got a nice little 
image of him onto the side, man. Oh, so cool. So classic. So retro. And then you have a larger image of, of Havoc here. And you have a little, little bio here to the side. Alex Summers, who is the brother of Cyclops, Scott Summers. And of course, this is a part of a build a figure wave. Not, not interested in this wave at all. I might get that Wolverine. Uh, I don't know, maybe, but uh, this is the only one that I really wanted from this line. So really happy to have Havoc. And let's get on to the next. Thunder. 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 Thundercats. Oh, man. I had to leave the best I felt for last. These two here hit home for me. And uh, so I got some Thundercats Ultimates. So I have, as you can see, Jaga. So I uh, got Jaga and I also have Snowman. So I got two Super 7 figures from Amazon. And they were uh, a little lesser than they were normally are on like the other online outlets. Uh, but look, we're going to take Jaga out of this shipper package and check him out. And all right, so we got, of course, the little display package here of the Thundercats. Uh, ultimate figures you see the emblem here and we have thundercats and of course here on the back we have thundercats again and then we have we get to see the the figure as a whole when we pull up this case here and we see jaga and there he is oh man this just speaks to my heart here i love this right here comes with a soft goods cape he also comes with the more of a plastic cape as well course he comes with the sword of omens uh three swappable heads man i tell you this just speaks to my heart thundercats oh man now folks i do have a thundercat special coming up which will feature me unboxing jaga and uh some other thundercats that i got coming and then on the back we got jaga here oh it looks so cool the artwork is just magnificent Oh man, so we got Jaga, and then we also have Snowman. Now this is the one um, that I was looking forward to, is Snowman. I always thought he was so cool, man. Now we need Snow Meow. You know, you gotta have his, his, uh, his, his snow friend, you know, his, his pet. You know, so uh, got him. Again, we get, you know, the, the, the cover here. Uh, with Thundercats, and if you slide up again, we got Snowman. Look at that! Oh, it's so cool, man! Come on! Oh, I love Snowman, and this is a heavy figure, man. This is, he is a he's a he's a big one, man. So uh, he got some weight to him. You know, it comes with these two weapons. He has a little helmet. Oh man, I'm excited, folks! I'm excited for these Thundercats. So uh, yeah. <laughs> Love Thundercats. I have uh, the new um, Bengali coming from Entertainment Earth, so I look forward to that. So I will be reviewing ben Bengali. And uh, yeah, got some other Thundercats coming too, so stay tuned for that. But man, we need Snow Meow. He needs his loyal companion, his pet. You know, it's his, it's his vehicle as well. You know, so definitely he needs his loyal friend, Snow Meow. Oh, that looks so awesome. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, we most definitely need Snow Meow. So we'll see if they do that. You know, Super 7, especially with those prices, I can only imagine how much Snow Meow would be if they did create Snow Meow. And woo, woo, boy, these figures are already high. All right, folks, so I got, got Jaga and we have Snowman. What a way to wrap up this episode. For laughs, I wanted to show you how big this box was that I received from Target. Now, what's inside does not call for this box to be this big. <laughs> but I just wanted to show y'all how big this box was. Now, what's inside is not, it's not super small, but it doesn't call for this box to be this big. So, I don't know what Target was thinking when they did that. All right, so we're going to open this thing up, and I want to show you what I got inside. Oh, 
<laughs> All right, so now does this need this big of a box? Can you see what I, this in here? <laughs> it's just like, all right, let me get this big old box out of the way. All right, y'all. So this is what was in that enormous, gigantic box that I received from Target. Now, I don't know what they was thinking by utilizing that big of a box for this here. I mean, it, it's a it's a pretty decent sized box. Now, don't get me wrong, but come on, Target. But I, I definitely had to show y'all that because I was like, man, there is no way I could not show them how big that box was. I mean, that was just, that was ridiculous. But uh, I am so happy to have this, man. I had been eyeballing this set for some time at Target and it was just way too expensive. I felt, you know, it was like 50, 60 bucks. Uh, but I kept checking my Target app and I saw it on sale for like $24.99 and I was like, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I I'll dive in now. And, you know, I don't know if I will open this up or not. I'm not sure. You know, uh, I like the little diorama piece that this thing comes with. It comes with some gargoyles. It has He-Man with this Vac Metal Battle chest armor. Uh, he has the little uh, sweeping hair head scope here. He has a little uh, battle sword, uh, axe, shield. Again, I love those little gargoyles and the diorama piece that he comes with. And there's a, a bit of a, a glossy you know, nest to uh, this battle cat. You know, he's a little shiny, a glossy battle cat. It's, I guess he's supposed to be like battle damage effects to He-Man and, and battle cat. I don't know how, how well that translates. You know, uh, I don't know. Uh, but uh, yeah, man, this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool, uh, especially for a He-Man fan uh, like myself, man. And again, I, I'm going to push this back. Look at that the artwork. I mean that 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 just sells it. I mean that artwork is just beautiful. I, I can never get enough of the artwork. Uh, again, we have the figures here on the back of the package with the other vehicles that's released. Uh, the playset. Really happy that I was able to find this finally on sale. I think it even dropped lower uh, than the twenty four ninety nine. But um, yeah. But I'll definitely take this man. He man's my guy. All right, let's get on to the next. All right, folks, that's all I have for this whole video. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a blast, man. You know, now stay tuned for that big, and I mean big, big bat toy store pile of loot haul that I have, which will cap off this special three-part haul event. So definitely stay tuned for that, folks. Again, I hope you enjoyed this haul. And uh, both hauls has me on just cloud nine. And uh Again, I just hope that you all are enjoying these haul videos and definitely tune in to part three, folks, that is coming. I want to definitely give you all a chance to, you know, enjoy the first two haul videos and, and check those out. Uh, but, folks, thank you once again. And as always, got to give a huge shout out to all of my subscribers. Uh, you all are just so awesome. You know, thanks to each and every one of you who are watching these episodes. Thank you so much. It means a lot to me, and I truly mean that. So I appreciate every you know kind comment uh, that's given to me in the comment section. I appreciate each and every view. And I, again, I just thank each and every one of you who are is actually tuning in and watching these videos. Again, it means a lot to me. So uh, thank you so much. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, what in the world are you waiting on? Subscribe, hit that subscription button. Also, folks, be sure to hit that like button. It really helps the channel. Smash that bell notification to all so that you get all my content as it drops. And if you did all those things, folks, I truly appreciate it. And I'm pretty sure the Spawn Ninja appreciates it too, even though he's taking it to the White Martian or whatever you want to call that thing. But folks, until next time, be good to one another. Be safe. Stay tuned, and I'll see y'all next time when I see you. Bye for now.